This is task 1b part 2 where you are asked to create a form for the camper details. Now before we can do that we are told that we've got to put in a photograph for each camper. So we're going to open up the camper table where we can see the fields and we need a new field for photographs. So if we're going to design view and we'll add a new field here called photograph and we'll make it an attachment data type so that we can attach the photograph. Now it does mean that wherever we store the photographs you'll need to keep them in that subfolder because it's linking to those pictures. If we go back to datasheet view you'll now see that there's these paper clips which allow us to attach the photos. We'll start with Jerry Fournette because that's the one that we've got to show the evidence for. So really it's the only one that we actually need to include a photograph for. So if we double click on this paper clip here we'll be able to add the photograph. So we click on add. Now the folder that this has gone to is data files and then there's a subfolder there called camper photos. So I'm choosing this one here. Now you may choose that before you do this you want to put these three pictures in the same folder as your database or in a subfolder of your database rather than linking to some sort of shared area on your network. Because if you link to that shared area on your network and then you try to use your database at home it's not going to find those photographs. So you're probably best uh, putting those photos into your own My Documents area before you continue. So I'll select number 13 and we'll click on OK. Now that has added the photograph but we won't actually see it until we create the form. So we'll close down this camper now and that's the table gone and what we're going to do is we're going to create the form. We're going to use a form wizard. We need to add all the camper fields and we need to add all the fields from the church table as well. That's because it will, for each camper the question asks us to show details about the church. We click on next you can see we can organise it by church, which would mean it would list each church, and then for each church it would list all their campers. But the question ask, actually asks us to list the camper and then show details of the church, so we're going to organise it by camper. We'll leave it as columns, and it tells us to call the form camper details, so that's what I'm going to do. And if we click on finish, it will create the basics of the form. Now it's doing this for me, it just says it already exists because I created one before. So yes, I am going to replace that. So here's our basic form. Now there's no photograph of that one because this camper ID, camper 6, hasn't got a photo. But if we scroll through until we find camper 13, then we will actually be able to find that photograph. So what I'm going to do is click on camper ID, go to find and we'll find 13. And there we go, we can see the photograph has pulled through, so that's brilliant. Now I'm not going to talk you through the whole of the house style again, but we'll just look at a couple of key things. First of all, the form header and the detail need to be in that colour. So if we go to format, because I've still got access open from last time, I can choose that colour. But if I hadn't got access open, I'd have to go through to more colours and set up the RGB values like I did for the church form. You're also going to notice that when you change everything to a size 12 font and black, so if we go for black here and Times New Roman, size 12, you'll see that a lot of data gets truncated. So you'll need to fix that. So you'll need to, for example, pull away, so you use this top left hand corner, pull away the text box from the label so that you can make the label bigger so that it fits and then lining everything up. It's a bit of a pain, uh, but it's going to help you to make your form look elegant. So that's produced the basic form. You've now got to do two other things uh, which you've got to show evidence for in part four. And that is to show how the church drop down box is created and how the church fields were set to be read only. So they're going to be in a separate tutorial for part four. Although if you want to show evidence of your form, then you will need to put the drop down box in. But you could just do it at this stage now, show evidence, untruncate everything, so sort of everything out, and you get some marks maybe, but you wouldn't get marks for the drop down box, and you certainly wouldn't get marks for read only because you'd need to show evidence 
of how that is done.